Alright guys, so it's day 25 now, and um, to be honest, I've tried doing no fab since January 27th. Uh, I have not been watching porn ever since October 2015, uh, but no fab is this new thing that I'm trying to do now. Which is one step further, it's, it's not just quitting porn, but it's also quitting masturbation altogether. I don't know if that's necessary, I'm really just trying this out because I'm curious. But uh, the thing is, I've relapsed so many times now that, you know, last time I masturbated was actually the uh, 22nd. 22nd, is it 22nd? I don't know, fuck it. 22nd of um, March. Uh, so I'm in day 25 now. And the reason I'm so confident that I'm not gonna relapse this time is because I feel like I finally understand what the problem really was. Uh, the problem was not pornography, the problem was not masturbating itself. There was a sort of deeper mental issue here. The problem is arousal addiction, alright? And that's, you know, one of the biggest things that NoFap is gonna cure. It's gonna cure your arousal addiction. Quitting porn is also... Uh, quite effective, but uh, quitting masturbation altogether is just is so much more than that. It, it develops a sort of sorry, a sort of level of discipline to where you don't give in to temptations anymore because you all you already have this this temptation of masturbating that you're not giving into. And that's also making you better at not giving in to other temptations. So, NoFap is really just an altogether uh, discipline thing. And that's why I'm so curious to try it out, because people keep saying that, you know, they have... Um, they've had, you know, great benefits with it. And, uh, and then there's also these skeptics that say, you know, you're getting prostate cancer because you're not coming enough. Um, and all that, but I'm I'm really just doing this because I'm curious. Um, and so far it has changed me, yes. Uh, for the better? Nah. I don't really know, uh, but it's, it's definitely interesting. And it's not for the worse either. Like, I don't feel... I don't feel any worse than I did before I did NoFap. I definitely don't. Um, so, um... I think this is really interesting and I'm gonna keep going on it. So now, back to what I said about the real problem about arousal addiction. Not just porn itself, not just masturbation itself, but arousal addiction was uh, back uh, when I was, you know, relapsing all the time. I kept looking for arousal in different things um, other than porn. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail on that, but um, I kept sort of looking for things. Uh, I don't know, just looking for beauty, like sexual beauty in a way, and it wasn't porn or anything, but it was just a altogether sort of general mindset that I had that I would just always be on the lookout for things to be aroused by if you know what I mean like I would also I will always sort of intentionally think about sex and <clears throat> I would always just sort of intentionally looking at women in a way that they were extremely sexy you know and that made me relapse because that really 
made me want to just beat off. And uh, so just, it's all about the mindset, really. That's all it is. Uh, once you can sort of conquer your destructive thoughts, that's when you start winning. And I'm currently going through the point in NoFab where it's really getting hard, which is from day 20 to day, tw uh, to day 30. That's the time when I've relapsed. Every time it's been a bit after day 20. Um, my record was 24 days. Now I'm on day 25, so I've already, already broken my record, but the reason why it's so hard in this time is that really when your um, horniness is is sort of taking control but that's also where you need to stay on nofap because that's when it helps that's when you need to stay sort of disciplined to just say no not gonna do this now I'll wait and I'll keep doing this until I, I don't know, flatline or something. I have not flatlined ever. I think that happens in like day 30 something. <clears throat> to some people, it doesn't happen to everyone, but I'm interested to see. I haven't had a wet dream either. None of these things have happened to me. None of these really interesting things have happened to me. And, uh, you know, again, I say it again, that's really the biggest reason why I'm doing NoFab, actually, is because I'm just so interested. I'm just so curious to see just... Does it really make such a big impact, that people say? Like... I don't know. So far I'm feeling a few different things, but I'm going to go into that in other videos. Um, definitely going to have more NoFab videos, because this is already getting quite interesting. Uh, my mind already just working differently. Uh, not just about sex and jacking off, but just my general mindset about absolutely everything. And sort of the way I am socially is also very different. The way I behave around other people, it has changed so much. And um, I, I don't think it's placebo at all either, because it just happens so automatically, it's, it's quite interesting. So yes, this video, I know it was kind of vague, I'll go into the, uh, I'll go into more things, I'll go into more mental changes in other videos about NoFap, but that's all I have for you guys today. Day 25, first NoFap video on this channel. Hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.